again welcome to another episode another tour and Altea Hills for today. We are literally above the clouds. We have a really nice misty day, which will give us a cool vibe to the tour that we are about to make. Today, we are going to be touring an incredible villa set on 1,037 square meters with four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and an internal build of 320 square meters. This place has just been renovated and everything inside is brand new and has its own unique vibe to it. And you will understand why once we start the tour. But before we get inside, let's just thank Daniel Jungvik from Premium Villas for letting us tour this incredible listing. Let's go and get started from the main entrance. So here we are at the street level where we've got the entrance to the property, the two car garage right behind me. This is a dead end road, so super quiet. We are the last house on this street, so there won't be any cars passing by your place. Right, let's start from the outside exterior look of the house. It's a kind of a low profile, typical Spanish style with a nice ceramic roof plenty of trees all around the place. From the garage you could enter to the top floor of the house where you've got the whole floor designed for the master bedroom. But we'll be starting the store from this entrance over here, which leads us to the main entrance downstairs. Let's go. All right. So here we are at the main entrance. This is the level minus one of the street level. We've got the nice arched opening up to the front door. Entering through the main door, we are welcomed by this hallway, super cozy, nice Mediterranean style, which you can see by the details straight away here. Stepping off this hallway, we are entering into this amazing living room with this floor to ceiling windows and an incredible views of the hall of Altea and Benidorm. Today we've got a little bit of a cloudy, misty day. I think this is some sand from the desert coming towards us, but normally you see the hall of Benidorm and the hall of Altea in front. So in general, a very nice overall feeling of the living room, super cozy. We've got the TV here, the nice fireplace below, the fixed shelves with all the Mediterranean style statues, the nice wooden table, very decent nice light fixtures which will light up very nicely in the night. Stepping off the living room into the dining room, let's just take a notice into this beautiful arch dividing these two places. Of course the floor changes as well from the parquet flooring we are going into the Spanish design flooring. It's a very specific kind of floor. I personally think it really greatly blends with the rest of the house and the style of it. We've got a round wooden natural table over here, the nice chandelier hanging above, this nice fixed mirror on my left side, windows all around and the entrance to the living room on the right. Super bright, super spacious. Just connecting us to this large kitchen, the L shape a fixed kitchen over here. We've got the nice tops, plenty of storage. What do we have here? We've got a nice wine cooler. We've got a nice wine fridge over here. All the Bosch appliances, dishwasher. Everything is provided and ready to move in. Of course, the huge extractor here, all the Bosch appliances. Again, we've got electric and gas, whatever you prefer. Personally, I like a bit of gas food. It tastes much better. And right behind me, both fridge and freezer, fridge and freezer both opening up to the full. Super bright and super airy, especially if you open all the windows on this floor, you've got a really nice, lovely breeze. Right, and just on our left here, we've got this little bar, so you can have a little sip of whiskey or whatever you wish. This is specially, specially designed for a man, I think. Right, so that leads us again to where we started the tour. From there, we're going to go to see the two bedrooms which we have on this floor. And we are going to be walking through this lovely arch. I don't know if you can see on the video. And that will lead us to the first bedroom on my left over here, which has a double bed, a large wardrobe fixed in the wall over here. We've got a nice design, this kind of a Mediterranean Ibiza style. I mean, even this bed just reminds me of the surf hostels on the beach. Nice. It definitely has a style. 
just of this bedroom. We've got the second double bedroom on this floor, even more of a hippie Ibiza Mediterranean style. Very original. I mean, we've got this super cool chandelier hanging above. We've got these bamboos holding the whole of the bed and the fishing net, or I'm not sure. Well, we could just say it's a net. Yeah, uh, it's a fishing net. And we've got these nice bomb fixtures on this net, which in the night I think will lit up quite cool. We'll check that out later. Again, full wardrobe here on my left of this room. So plenty of storage in both of the bedrooms. And now both of them have their own private bathrooms. This is the first bathroom belonging to the jungle bedroom. Nice bowl sink over here. Let's just check out the water because why not? Nice float, Mediterranean style again. And let's go and check out the second bathroom, which belongs to the first bedroom we saw. Again, really nice Mediterranean style, natural stone bowl over here. And two mirrors hanging above. Nice, small, but very cute. And from here, we are going to step into the office. Here, as you can see, it's a little bit of a darker room because we don't really have a direct access to the outside space. We've got one window over there leading us to the yard, to the backyard. And that leads us with these two steps to the storage room, really large storage room. We've got the washing machine, the tumble dryer over there, boiler, all the things you need for the upkeep of the house. Right here, we also have a door which leads us Sorry. leads us to the front, to the side of the house where we've got the garden and we can enter from the upstairs, from the upstairs over there. But before we go down to the swimming pool area, let's go up and check out the hall of the second floor where we've got the main bedroom. Arrived at the second floor, this whole floor, the whole floor is devoted to the main bedroom. So first of all, we've got the entrance there, which leads us to the garage. So you could enter into this floor through the main garage where we've started this tour. We've got this little hallway leading you to the walk-in wardrobe part of the bedroom. We've got all this as a storage of the bedroom. We've got a very nice, useful feature over here for short people like me, where you can bring down and reach out for your clothes. So off to the left here, we've got the Ensuite bathroom with a nice surprise, which I didn't mention before. We've got a sauna. Yes, we've got an electric sauna in this floor. Let's go and check that out. So this is easily a seven people sauna. I'm sure you guys have used sauna before. We'll put up some hot water on the stones and get nice and cozy in here in the cold days of winter. Right, so that's a very nice feature in this bedroom. We might have to try it later. It's actually February, so it will be very nice on a day like today in the evening. Overall, a very nice large bathroom. We've got a nice cabinetry here, natural wood, a walk-in shower over here, bidet and a hanging vanity unit over there, as well as the window leading us to the side of the property, giving us a little bright look of this end suite. And off to the right here, another lovely arch and an office connected to the bedroom. We've got a sailing boat on my left, the work desk. All this arch wall over here, really lovely bright room. So a general, very nice, bright office, which is exactly what you need for a great working environment. Okay, another arch leading us to the main bedroom with this nice wooden fixture over the bed. And of course, large windows. You can open it all up. Lovely breeze in the summer, amazing. Another window over here, same view. Again, fully heated, fully cooled in the summer. You won't be using much of the AC because of all the windows and the super breeze you get in this floor. Now, I would like to take everybody into the main terrace with the swimming pool and some amazing views. Follow me, let's go. 
you could easily say this is the best part of the house. Stepping out of the dining room, we find ourselves in the outdoor dining room. We've got a barbecue over here, the nice chimney, we've got the sink and nice arches under it. And of course, a nice little table in the middle, natural wood, this kind of a rustic style blending in with the rest of this outdoor area. I love it, it's super peaceful here. So this house can be basically loved not only on a sunny day, but also on a day like today where we've got some clouds, as you can see behind me. Stepping out of this entertainment area, going down these steps, we find ourselves in the main outdoor area. This space is absolutely huge. We've got all this potential space here to be customized at the moment. We don't have any outdoor furniture here, but we have some nice chilling area over here on my left side together with this large swimming pool in the middle we've got the shower area just behind the swimming pool all these plants all around and as well the nice lights which will turn on in the evening and they give this place this magical look i would like to show you one more thing before we wrap up this tour which is the downstairs separated flat let's go and check it out here we have a lot of potential. This could be made into two or even three bedrooms at the moment. As you can see, it's just a nice open space. Right in front of me here, we have this nice brand new kitchen with all the Bosch appliances. We've got the dishwasher over here, an electric hob, plenty of storage, nice breeze lighting above, leading us into this, well, you could say it's a living room at the moment, but potentially it could be made into bedrooms over here. We've got the TV and a nice electric fireplace right below the TV. Another wardrobe on my right here, leading us into the main and suite of this flat. Very nice natural tones. We've got the natural bowl sink over here and the walk-in shower right behind me. Here we come to the end of the tour for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I will be seeing you in the next ones coming up. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this tour and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Take care, guys.